Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we're on a bit of a different setup today. We're actually in the bedroom, hence the little cow picture at the back if you saw my cottage tour video. Um, for today's video, I'm going to show you how I style my curly hair. If you've read my blog or if I've mentioned this before, I'm not too sure. I have naturally curly hair. Um, this is my natural hair apart from the colour. Obviously I've got a couple of highlights in there. Um, but since I was like 16, I straightened my hair and kind of ruined it because I just hated my curly hair. Um, I was embarrassed because not many people that I knew had curly hair. Um, yeah, I just really hated it, but for the past six months I've been embracing it. Yeah, so I still straighten my hair from time to time on special occasions, but I can't really imagine myself with straight hair every day anymore. This is just kind of like, I feel like I'm, I'm me, I'm embracing my, my, my true self. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd show you how I style it. Excuse the fact that I've got no makeup on today. Um, we're doing the self-isolation thing and I really couldn't be bothered putting makeup on just for the purposes of this video because I'm not going anywhere. So you with a bare face Carol today. Um, I hope you enjoy it and if you have any recommendations on how to style curly hair yourself then please leave them in the comments below because I'm still learning. Um, I'm not like the queen of curly hair so yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so all I've done at the moment is literally just wash my hair, that's it, um, in the shower. Um, on days that I don't wash my hair, I just wet it, that's it. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's healthy to wet your hair every single day, I'm still trying to figure that out. But I've only been um, keeping it, embracing the natural hair for about six months now, so I'm still kind of figuring it out. Um, someone did say to get one of the spray bottles and just fill it with water and conditioner. Um, so I might start doing that because I don't think that like continuously wetting my hair is healthy but that's what I'm doing at the moment so I just wash my hair and again on days that I don't wash it I just wet it and then I comb it through with a wide tooth comb that's really important because any other sort of brush or comb is just gonna break the curls and it's gonna be bushy and frizzy um, I mean it is bushy and frizzy at the moment but it would be even more so and we wouldn't have these sort of tight curls it would be haggard hair that's for sure. So after brushing it through with a wide tooth comb, I literally just let it dry naturally. That's it. I don't put any heat on it. Um, I try and keep as much heat off it as possible. So I just let it dry naturally. But later on, once it's completely dry, I will go in with a curler just to curl sort of like my fringe area um, and these little bits down here just so it frames my face better. So what I'm going to do first before I do all that is put some heat protection spray on because that's really important because we're not trying to damage our hair here because I've probably done enough damage over the past 15 years with straightening it all the time. So I'm just going to put some spray on here, just on the bits that I am going to be curling. I'm just going to brush that through. There we go. And that's literally it for now, so I'm just going to let it dry and then I'll come back to it. Now my hair is dried, excuse how crazy and bushy it looks. I'm just going to take a couple of bits around my face. I mean this is just madness. Just to curl them, like I said before, just to frame my face. So I'm going to take a bit down here and take this fabulous curler. I've had this for about 50 years, honestly it's amazing. So I'm just going to wrap that round. And then leave it on for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, it just gives it a more of a better, a better curl. Some days my normal curls are fine, I don't need to do this. Uh, but most days I do. So I'm going to take the same bit just on this side. So it's just a little bit in front of my ears that don't really have a decent curl to them. And I'm just going to hold that again for a couple of seconds. Go and just pull it down a little. Then, next bit is just this bit here. And then just going to curl sort of midway on this piece. I always stay away from the top of my hair just because I don't really want heat at my roots and it doesn't really need it. So there's that one. 
and then just my fringe bit. So what I do with this is I just brush it through, take this front bit and split it into two. And just curl this bit. There we go, and then this front bit. I mean, this curl's not too bad today, but just, it's a bit flat, so just to give it a bit more volume. I'm just gonna do this bit as well. There we go. So now, I look like a little crazy mess. So I'm just gonna take a scrunchie, and I'm obsessed with scrunchies. I literally have one every single day. So we take a scrunchie, and this is kind of like my go-to hairstyle. And we do half up and half down. So I'm just gonna take those bits that we just curled, with the top half of my hair, and just tie that up. And then I'm gonna pull it, but then loosen these side bits up here, and then just keep doing that until I feel like it's about right. There we go. And then all I'm gonna do again with a wide tooth comb is just comb these little bits through that we've just done. Oh, I've got hair on me. And these will drop as well, so it won't be so tight as the day goes on. One final thing that I tend to do is just go in with like a serum. So I've got this bedhead one here that I've been using, or my other one is this Pantene expert collection one just this here and I just pop a bit on my palms I'll show you let me just take my ring off so I'm just gonna pop a little bit on my palm rub it in and then just sort of distribute it through my hair and it just this just kind of smooths it down a bit and gets gets rid of that frizziness and then I just sort of like use it to plump my hair up. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to use it, but it's what I do. And that is it for how I style my curly hair. So I'm not saying this is like the be all and end all. This is just how I do it. Like I'm still learning how to do things with it and what works best with it. But if anyone's got curly hair, then you'll know that no day's the same, no curl's the same. Some days it looks okay. Today is not too bad. And some days it's just an absolute mess. So you just take what you can get with it. But that's how I do it. Um, pretty much every single day sometimes I'll have it up um, sometimes I'll put it in a bun but we're still trying to work with it here okay and I hope you enjoyed this video so if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye